Hello friends, my name is Charlotte and welcome to my channel, Trying to Teach EY. Hello and welcome. Today is my very first video and I thought I would do a quick introduction about who I am and what I do and why I've started this channel. So um, I'm originally from the UK and I am a specialised early years teacher and I have been teaching, this is my eighth year now and I live and work abroad uh, with my family um, and I teach at international schools. Uh, so far I've taught in China, Thailand and Uzbekistan and this is my fourth year teaching internationally. So it is the beginning of September and we are about to go back to school and I've always watched everybody else's classroom setup vlogs and this year I've decided it's time to do mine. So uh, I hope that uh, you will come on this teacher vlogging journey with me and that you will enjoy the content. If so, like and subscribe. Um, but I will be planning to share my experiences teaching internationally in early years pre-kindergarten reception class my children are age four and five um, so they're very little and it's very exciting we're going back face to face um, we only had three days online learning last year so that was really great um, so hopefully we can keep up that positivity this year too so we have already had five days in school, teacher training days. Um, so I've done a lot of my classroom setup, but because they've been like calendar school days for staff, um, my teaching assistant has also been there with me. And so I haven't vlogged any of the, te the classroom setup that I've done so far because I'm still new to vlogging and my teaching assistant is very shy. Um, I don't want to put her under any pressure, um, but I also can't like send her away. <laughs> so she's been helping me set up my classroom, but I plan to go into school tomorrow. She is going to be coming in with me as well, um, but tomorrow is a holiday day, so I'm, so I'm hoping that I will get there before her and I can give you guys a tour around my classroom and show you what I've done so far. Um, but even though yesterday and today have been holiday days, I've still been working from home, been making loads of things on my MacBook and trying to get everything ready for Monday. And there is still so much to do. So that's where we're up to so far. I guess I'll probably see you guys tomorrow when I show you around my classroom. Bye. It is Friday the 3rd of September and we're here in my classroom, which as you can tell from the wall behind me is very blank and bare. So um, I just got here and unpacked. So I'll give you a quick tour around and then I'll show you some things that I've bought. So I'm standing in my teacher area and looking directly out from here we have my group work table arranged in this lovely little hourglass shape with group work resources. So we're gonna have their maths book, phonics books, topic books, whiteboards, erasers, fly swats for playing phonics splat. And then this is my writing area or mark making. And this display board should be up there, but you know, all my writing area resources, then we have investigation area with all of my investigation resources, math area with dice on the floor and all of my math resources, reading area is a mess right now, this should also be up there, over on the carpet, this doesn't live here. Um, construction area resources. This is my self-registration, red giraffe class this year. My whiteboard and projector at the front. 
going to try and make an affirmation station here with my little mirror, which I also use to be able to keep an eye on what's happening over here in my creative area. That table should have been adjusted, so I need to try and find maintenance to find out if they're going to actually do that for me. My um, creative area resources, my classroom door, and our bathrooms. I've got cute stickers, posters to put up for boys and girls. And that's where we're at so far, folks. Um, I've moved my teacher desk and all the furniture around this year, so um, I'm really loving my teacher area right now. But as you can see, complete mess. Okay, so let me show you some of the things that I've bought for this year. Um, we've had our classrooms painted over the summer, so we're not allowed to stick anything up on the wall with tape or blue tack. Hence why it's so bare and the reason for some of my purchases. So the first thing I bought is this cute hanging pocket. So I plan to stick that for my whiteboard to put my um, schedule cards, whiteboard pens, erasers. It's got two little hooks, so I might hang some um, of my uh, nonverbal communication cards, fan cards, because I've got one child who is nonverbal. So that's going to go up on my whiteboard. And then I bought some of these suction bathroom hooks. So what I'm hoping is, because I have whoop, uh, a big window here that I can stick one at the top of the window here and one at the top of my whiteboard. Mm, maybe. Or, because I have huge windows at the front of my classroom, I can stick one at the top of the window there and one going that way. Mm. Options, options. Anyway, trying to hang washing lines to hang kids' work. And then I've also bought some nice baskets because I can never have too many baskets. I've got two round and two rectangle. Um, what else did I buy? Washing line. mostly it didn't go too overboard I've got things like batteries and paper plates and hand sanitizer and you know the usual little bits and pieces but those were the main things okay let's go <laughs> of hours um, I stopped recording because my TA came in and we have been getting on with things I just noticed that one of my letters has, has already fallen off the wall so this is gonna be fun So we've spent hours laminating, cut, cutting, laminating and cutting again. And there are some things up now, so I'm going to show you what we've done so far. Okay, so first things first, I was able to use those suction hooks here on the window and here on the window to hang up my phonics freeze posters. Um, I don't know if I'll keep these because although we follow Johnny Phonics, songs and actions we don't follow the order so I might put different posters up don't know um, my schedule for morning and afternoon is up it was the E that fell down I have my hydration station um, I have put my numeracy area and reading area posters just on countertops because I can't put them on all this beautiful wall space uh, the most progress has been made here 
so ugh, I still don't have the title okay um maybe I do this has a title that's supposed to say calendar maths but I'm pretty sure I printed it out like four times already and I still don't have it um so to be continued but I have my calendar I've just printed out all my numbers and they've been laminated just need to cut them out again and they will be stuck up here I have a date and all of these are magnetic with little magnetic strips that I cut it's not going to focus but yeah it's just a magnet that I stuck with double-sided sticky tape to the laminate and then we can say it's the 12th of September and the year is 2021 yay okay um I have my voiceometer and again this is just magnetic so I can move it wherever it needs to go uh, children in the class so each day will count how many boys how many girls and write the total um, then I have my number of the week and shape of the week but I'm not sure if these are going to go on the back of this board which is currently empty I'm not sure these are my giraffes because my giraffe class and then over here I have my classroom jobs but the kids pictures are up so we'll avoid that I have my letter formation handwriting rhymes that I use while doing phonics, my cute little hanger pocket thing that I picked up and it's got the rest of my months in there for the calendar and then sound of the week and book of the week will go down here. Yay! I think that's all we've accomplished so far. I did my magnifying glasses with our words in my investigation area and I think that's it so seriously I don't know what keeps happening but I've just come back to the classroom with all my printing and laminating that me and my TA have been doing for the last like three hours and I'm missing letters still this missing a whole word like how does this happen so I have the word birthday for our birthday display, but if you can see they're all like little monsters. So it says birthday beasts, the word beasts is missing. But I also have the words for our affirmation station and our affirmation cards and, oh, where's the other one gone? <gasps> I just keep missing things and losing things. I know that I printed them, but where have they gone? It's ten past four, I should have left ten minutes ago, but I'm just going to give you guys a really quick scan of the room that is mostly ready for Monday. I don't have any books in my reading area. I still have two display boards down, one of them isn't decorated. I'm missing cards from my visual schedule, but it is what it is. Let's keep smiling. Okay, so as you saw earlier, I've got my mark making writing area with my phonics washing line. I have got my hydration station and my visual schedule up on the wall with cards missing. I have got my maths area with my maths display board down on the floor. I have got my affirmation station that says you are unique, you are resilient, you are safe, you are funny, you are strong, you are kind, you are loved, you are brave, you are creative, you are appreciated. And I have some other cards to swap those out with every term or whatever. Bathrooms. I have my morning greetings menu, my birthday beasts display. Creative area hasn't changed much because can't do anything with it. My reading area hasn't changed. I have my classroom jobs, voice ometer I had to move, my little pocket which has some carpet games and icebreaker things in it. Um, what have I got? Book of the week, sound of the week. Then over here I've got my calendar maths which now has a title. 
I've got my calendar, how many children are in class today, what season is it, what is the date, what is the month, what is the year, yesterday was, today is, tomorrow will be. And then I've had to put my shape of the week and number of the week on the back of this flippy whiteboard. And I have my self-registration with my little giraffes, carpet rules, teacher area, which is now mostly clean and clear, and my group work desk. Oh, and my investigation station is, I think, the same as what you saw before. So yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I have to go home and see my family, who probably are wondering where the heck I've got to. And I will see you guys on Monday in my first day of reception video. Bye!